our next uh, panelist is uh, Thibault from uh, um, Thibault from uh, Catala Consulting. He's a managing director there. This is a consulting company that is providing software and revenue management solutions for hospitality businesses. Thibault before has been working in revenue management departments for several years in uh, the brands like Intercontinental Hotels in Europe and Four Seasons in Asia. Thank you very much for joining us today and uh, covering a very crucial topic on uh, the revenue management. Thank you, Anna. Um, so yeah, Forest, we, have, we are a consultant, consultancy firm based in London. Um, we have seen like, the wave of the, of the virus impacts in the different countries at a different stage. Like the first one was impacted in Italy. Then we have seen like a wave coming slowly in London and then boom, now everything is closed actually in London. So we have seen like the different waves in different countries and the impact was actually quite different impacts like um, um, at different stage. However, yes, everyone is actually dramatically impacted. Um, there's still some um, tactics and strategies that we recommend. Um, now it changed a bit because if you don't have any demand or if your hotel is closed, then you cannot do anything on revenue management. But there's still some tactics that you can implement to be ready post-crisis because we are still quite positive about the second part of the year. So therefore, it's just the right time to set up everything correctly and be ready for post-crisis. Okay? So we have like seven points that we wanted to, to discuss for, with you. The first one is very easy to say, but more difficult to do but it's not the time to panic. Make sure you, you as a leader show and lead by example. Everyone is actually looking at you and more today more than ever because you are leading your staff, you are leading your, your guests, you are leading your partners, you are leading your suppliers. You cannot panic, but you can, you can only panic internally, not outside, okay? So keep it for yourself. And just step back, look at the different, uh, just brief, and look at the different strategies that you can implement and assess the situation and then, take your decision okay but today is not the time to panic second point which is a very important point anywhere you are in the world dropping the rate will not necessarily increase your demand so don't drop your rate because if you do it will raise it will be a race to the bottom and where you start to have like one market one hotel will start to dramatically drop the rate then everyone follow and then you have the whole market which is dropping okay and again think about um, does it make really sense to have your five-star hotel or four-star hotel at the same price as a three or two stars hotel or before you, you were priced at 150 pounds a night and now you're priced at 50 pounds. Does it make really sense? If you drop right now, maybe in a short term, you may be able to capture some demand, but in the medium long term, to get back to where you used to be would be actually, you will have more medium long term impact than dropping the rate right now. So don't drop the rate. You have a few tactics that you can do, such as a stay free pay two. You keep your rate that you had before, maybe slightly more aggressive, but stay free pay two can be one way to kind of obscure your strategy and your rates. Um, the second one, you can, you can add value to your, to, your, to your rates, like a free breakfast, like champagne, I don't know, but you can, uh, you can add value to your, to, your, to your product and to your rates. That can be a second one, okay? The so next one, uh, I think it goes back to Aradana and Alex, um, empathy and kindness always pay. So make sure um, today it's the right time to show kindness and to show empathy to your guests, to your staff, um, to everyone around you, okay? So today, don't is not the right time to cash in and to make sure you've enforced the uh, non-refundable rate, the strict policy deposit, and so on. It will maybe get some cash in the bank in the short term, but in the medium and long term, people will remember what you did and they will not book to you again. So just remember this: like empathy and kindness always pay. Focus on your domestic market. This one, I believe, will be very important in the next few months because we have seen the domestic market is always the last one to disappear and the first one to reappear. Uh, we have seen like in, uh, in China, we have seen in Hong Kong, some already small sign of recovery from the domestic market. But I believe the second part of the year will be highly focused on the domestic market. UK, Europe, uh, Asia, domestic market will be key. Okay? And as well, it will not recover from uh, one moment to another with all the countries booking at the same time. It will be by waves. So look at your website, look at your Google Analytics, look at who is booking your, looking at your website and identify uh, which countries you can target. Highly targeted uh, marketing and sales activities will be the, 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 the strategy for the next few months. You'll target your SEO, your SEM, uh, send um, some communication via, via your newsletter using your CRM will be a like key as well. And as well, if you don't focus, you don't um, have any international market, you can do something maybe on staycation. That will be like staycation will be the next strategy. As well, maybe as you are close, it's a good opportunity to diversify your distribution and segmentation, making sure you're ready post-crisis. Uh, any kind of new partners, don't put your eggs all in the same bucket. Look at diversifying your segmentation and distribution because in crisis, people were relying on 80%, 90% of one single market. Then they just dropped from one day to another. So look at diversification. That would be like your kind of uh, risk management for the medium and long term. And that's the right time to do it now. 
uh, be creative of your revenue streams. Um, okay, maybe you have a restaurant. Now you cannot accommodate anyone in the restaurant. But did you think about a ghost restaurant? Just opening up your kitchen for delivery. Or what about uh, promoting your wellness, like uh, your corona coronavirus-free hotel? I don't know. But just is the right time to be creative, to bring some new innovation to the market and try to, 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 to survive the next few months. Last point, which I don't really like, but unfortunately that's a reality. Uh, look after a contingency plan. Look at reducing your cost, um, staff cost. Sales marketing will say no, but look at your or where you can make some cost on, a, on your on your cost as well as your yeah. Be ready. Look at your forecast, accurate forecast, and then decide what to do to to make sure your bottom line is not as much impacted as your top line. And unfortunately, we need to survive the next few months. Look at your help from the government. I know that UK market, um, Asia different markets have introduced some help and support from the government. Look at this one and make sure you, you, you kind of embrace them as much as you can. And um, lastly, and I think like I want to bring um, an end to, 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 to this one on more positive note, be optimistic on 2020 because after any kind of crisis, like look at uh, post-war, you got a baby boom. I believe you will have a travel boom uh, post this crisis. Um, now in terms of timeline, I don't really know when it will happen. Is it in uh, two weeks, three weeks, uh, three months, six months, one year? 20, 10 years, I, don't, I hope not, but I'm quite sure we'll have a baby boom, uh, not a baby boom, we'll have a travel boom after, after this crisis. And I believe our industry and market will be stronger post-crisis than it was before.